there's one thing you should get out of this video, it is to seek help if you are struggling and do not feel alone because you aren't. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Charlotte. Go ahead and subscribe. And for those of you who don't follow me on social media, I posted uh, about a week ago that I was taking a break from making videos because of everything going on. I wanted to further educate myself and listen to the voices and efforts of others related to the Black Lives Matter cause. So many lives have been taken because of systemic racism and injustice and I want to make sure I'm educated so that going forward I can help be part of a solution and promote change. It's not going to be easy for our country but we can get there if everyone takes the time to educate themselves and learn about what you can do and continue to promote change. It's not going to go away until changes are made which might take a little while but we have to keep at it we have to keep promoting this change and being part of it and that's the only way that anything is going to happen for our country going forward so i just wanted to start by saying that that's why i hadn't been posting videos but i am going to start back up with them today but nothing has gone away it's still here we need to keep being part of that change keep listening to others keep doing what we can Today, I wanted to kind of in light of recent events, talk about being open about mental health and my mental health journey. I know this is a really hard time for a lot of people with COVID and having the quarantine. That itself was a big struggle mentally, but then everything going on, all of the injustices that we see in our country, that can really take a toll on your mental health. And I can't even imagine the toll that it has taken on the black community. I I really, I support you, I'm here for you. I don't know what you're feeling because I am white, but I want to express that I'm here for you and I wanna be a part of that change. I'm just gonna talk a little bit, be open about things. It's a little bit of a serious topic, but I think that in a lot of our country, mental health is something that is not really talked about a lot and it should be because it's really serious you know it's how you feel every day it could impact your life your work your relationships it could really impact everything so i think rather than being all hush hush about mental health i think we need to be open about it and show our bravery and if we have decided to seek help that's one of the strongest things that we can do it's way better to ask for help if you need it, then just be afraid and feel like you can't because of the stereotypes. So I think that that is another change that needs to happen in this country. I think we need to make it more normal to talk about mental health and these kind of struggles because we talk about things physically like struggles with weight or struggles with acne, things like that, but you don't really ever hear that much about struggles socially and emotionally so we're gonna go into that a little bit today that was a kind of a long intro but i'm gonna start by saying that i am someone who has faced mental health challenges i deal with anxiety which usually can come in overwhelming waves and it has impacted some things in my life i've had anxiety probably since Oh, I don't even remember. It's It's been a really long time, but once school kind of got more serious and high school, college kind of in that realm, it would overwhelm me a lot more because things were just kind of crazy in my life and there was a lot going on and that kind of fed into my anxiety. So I have dealt with that for a while um, and sometimes that can lead to periods where I'm overwhelmingly sad and Frankly, those are just periods in my life when I'm kind of depressed. I have gone and asked for help and have gotten counseling and have talked to others about it and that has helped me tremendously because one thing I can tell you is you are not alone. You are not the only one facing mental health issues. So there are people out there who can help you, 
who can relate to you and who you can get through it together because I have a lot of friends who also have been dealing with these things and we are each other's support network. So I think that is the most important thing. You can do this, you can get through it, you can find people who will help you, they exist, but don't be afraid and don't feel alone in your struggle. So I think my first kind of tip if you are going through this is to reach out to your school's counseling department in high school, that could be the form of a guidance counselor or maybe reach out to one of your teachers that you trust or something like that. Um, but then going forward in college, a lot of schools have specific counseling services that they offer for people. And usually they're free, but you have to look into it depending on your school. That can be really helpful because it could just provide a way for you to talk to somebody if you're feeling like you're lonely and you need somebody to hear your thoughts and you need help getting through it you could just reach out to them and they could set you up with a therapist to talk to there's nothing wrong with therapy it can be so helpful just to have somebody unbiased listen to your thoughts and your feelings and help you get through it they can help you find ways to cope with your feelings there are so many great benefits of therapy no matter who you are so I am a huge advocate for it. I've been to therapy. A lot of my friends have been to therapy. Don't let any stigma around that detract you from wanting to go because it can be really, really helpful to have somebody listen and help you find ways to get through it. You can call your insurance if you have insurance and ask for in-network providers. So the in-network providers are those that are covered under your insurance and if you go to see them they often have a like a smaller copay of maybe like 15 to 20 dollars a visit which is much more doable just give them a call it's usually on the back of your insurance card there'll be a number for mental health or behavioral services so you can go ahead and call that number or member services that they can help you too and i know for the time being this is just kind of an aside related to insurance because of everything going on, some insurances are actually waiving the copay for mental health services until September 30th. So if you are struggling now because of recent events and everything going on in the world, give your insurance a call and ask about that and see if they are one of the ones participating in that waiving of fees because now would be the perfect time to start going and seeing a therapist if you don't have to pay a copay. A lot of Schools also have a call line 24 seven that you could call if you are in an emergency situation and need to get help. That is definitely something that I would recommend if you are really, really down and really struggling and you're having some thoughts, just give them a call. They're always able to help you. If you can't get a therapist and your school does not offer it, there are actually some apps that have people that you can talk to for, not for free, you still have to pay, but it is a reduced charge and I don't think you need insurance with them. I myself have not tried any of these apps, but I will link some of the ones that I have heard great things about below in case you wanna try them. And in the comments down below, let me know if you've tried any of them or if there are others that have helped you just so that anyone watching this video can be aware of all of the options that they have. On a more serious note, if you or someone you know has ever had thoughts or has planned hurting themselves or someone else, definitely give a call to the National Suicide Hotline. I will put that number in the description down below. But as I mentioned before, just to end, end this video, don't be afraid to seek help if you need it. It is not weak. It is not a sign of weakness if you need you know, to address your mental health, you know, it, it's stigmatized in our culture. It's really upsetting because so many people go through these kind of challenges in their life at one point or another, because especially during college and during high school, things can be so stressful, so overwhelming, and you're going through these transitions that can take a toll on you emotionally and mentally. So it's not weak to seek help. I think it's actually one of the bravest and strongest things you can do is to go out there and ask for help 
and try to overcome these difficulties in the ways that people can help provide you. Get help. You're not alone. And if you need anything, I'm here for you. I will always be here to support you. You're amazing no matter what anybody tells you. And thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you relate to it and comment down below anything else you could recommend if you have ever struggled with mental health issues. But like I said, you're doing great. You got this.